This lesson will demonstrate the use of lists. So I'm first going to create a variable called CSP for HS list. And then I'm going to set this list by adding the contents through the list structure. And I'm just going to expand this list to first uh, so CSP. So I'm adding the individual character CSP as elements of this list and we'll add a few more here to uh, increase to 4HS. So that sets that variable as a list variable with the content CSP for HS containing six different characters. So I want to be able to display the contents using a say. And in order to process each of those list elements I'm going to, to have a loop and I'll set the index of this loop initially to 1 and then I need to go in and create a repeat loop now I, I know that there's six letters there but we can make it more general by using some of these list operators so if you see there's multiple list operators available the length of block returns the size of a list so if I pass uh, the CSP for HS list into length of, that will return at, at the program execution time the number six that will be filled in there. So I want to then say, as I'm looping through each index, each one of those six elements of that list, I'd like to say each one individually based upon the value of index. So I'm going to use the item of list operator so the of will be the actual list itself and the location of the of where I want to print will be represented by the index counter so I'm looping through one through six and I'm incrementing index uh, by one each time and starting at one so this is setting index to one setting my list looping through all the list saying each one of the six elements so you can see that CSP for HS is being printed to the screen here and if you even look the variable counter view above that you can see the value of index changing through each iteration of the list. This is just a simple program that shows how a list can be created and how we can use the length of operator to process each one of those items.